And in 2018, just going back to the company's history, we, we decided to build a system that can integrate to any type of sprayer, being entirely machine agnostic, uh, utilizing the same technology we already developed based on computer vision and artificial intelligence that is capable in real time to detect the weeds in the field and to precisely trigger the nozzle to spray only this very specific weed in the field. Well, that young man is the CEO of a relatively new technology startup company based in Israel. And as you heard him say, his company has developed a retrofit kit that can turn almost any sprayer from almost any brand into a smart sprayer. That is, make it capable of using green on green technology. That's the term industry has come to use to describe a sprayer that can detect a green growing plant in a green growing crop and spray only the weed. By most estimates, that can save producers up to 80% of their herbicide costs. I had a chance to talk to Nadev via Zoom call directly from Israel a little while ago. I asked him to explain a little bit more about this retrofit kit that the company is commercializing and to talk about their plans to market it as it moves here to North America. So tell me a bit about the system itself. Uh, uh, how, what are the components and how do you integrate them into an existing sprayer that a farmer might have in his fleet? Yes, so, so first of all, I will, I will say that our focus is, you know, aftermarket, you know, looking on, how, I mean, the way we like to call it is, turning every sprayer to a smart machine. That's what guides us. So we, we're we not trying to push brand new machines to the market, because as it is, it's an expensive machine. Farm had already spent a significant amount of capital to buy it. So what we're looking to do is to build a system that turns this existing machine to a smart one. And the way we are doing the retrofit process is essentially through uh, replacing farmers' existing boom. So we have our own boom that we come, we remove the existing boom, which come with green eye boom that comes with all of the component, which I'll get to in a second. And that's really what that's really what enables us to have a very robust uh, and quick and efficient integration process. So we are we don't care if it's a John Deere or a Case or an Echo or an Aggie sprayer, we can work with all of them. Um, and just going back to the component question, so there is three main hardware components in the system. So one are the cameras that actually, you know, they are slightly out of the nozzles and they see the entire field and they can see what happens in the field and make real-time decisions in milliseconds whether to trigger a nozzle or not to trigger a nozzle. The second component are the processors, the GPUs, that essentially enables, enables us to work in real time without any dependency on internet connectivity, right? Uh, we can work in remote areas um, and we can make real-time decisions and all the processing and decision-making happens on the device itself. Nothing is being sent to the cloud. The third component are the lightning that we have on the on the machine just to control the, the lightning condition and to make sure that we have um, very high accuracy results. And we also work with PWM, so we control every individual nozzles on the system um, so we can open and close every nozzle based on what actually happens in the field. So from, a, from our hardware component, those are the main uh, component that we have in our system. And then, of course, you have the, the, the algorithms that makes this entire process run, right? The ability to, to see something, tell you what it is, whether it's in a pre-emergence or a post-emergence situation, differ differentiating between the weed and the crop and making real-time decisions where to spray and where not to spray. So is this, if, if a farmer installs this on his machine, I say it's a machine that has overlap control, does that overlap control still function? Uh, yeah. So you're not double spraying? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Our product, as I mentioned, we build a system that integrates to all type of machines. And we put cameras on the boom. And the camera, in addition to having the ability to make real-time decisions as, as the spray run through the field, they also collect an enormous amount of information from the field. So we can, in addition to deciding in real time in milliseconds where to spray and where not to spray, we're collecting high resolution images from the entire field and then we can provide farmers and other stakeholders multiple insights on the field that are related to weeds, but not only to weeds. So, for example, to provide a detailed weed mapping down to the species level, uh, to provide crop stand count of every individual plant in the field, to provide early detection of diseases that are being developed 
in the field. And that's just to name a few of the features that we are capable of providing to farmers. When will we see it in Canada? Yes, so 2022, it is a limited release. And it, it's just, you know, just to mention that the bottleneck was was us. We were actually overwhelmed. We, we released the early adopter program around April of 2021. And, you know, we were, we got hundreds of farmers reaching out to us. They want to get the machine. They want to, they want to buy the machine from us. And we, at, you know, we were not able to supply as many machines. I mean, so the, the, the challenge was not demand, it was the supply on our end. So we kind of choose those group of selected farmers in the Midwest, but we are now building the capabilities of expanding it to 2023 to other states and Canada as well. So that's, that's also a market we're looking very closely at. Uh, the main focus for 2022 and 2023 would be around corn and soybean, uh, but definitely already thinking of expansion to other crops beyond that. You know, I, I think I think what often people think of precision spraying, as I mentioned, is from the angle of reduction, which is a huge, huge contribution, uh, enabling farmers to spray so much less and you know really boosting their profitability. But I guess what one thing I really do want to highlight is that the value is so much greater than just just volume reduction. As I mentioned, it's about getting much better efficacy, um, reducing drift, which is a huge pain point today in, in North America, um, and, and and so much more. So so we are very excited to kind of take this very long desired concept of precision spraying and actually transitioning it to a commercial phase. Well, that's it for this episode of Ag Dealer TV. Be sure to check back here often for the latest in what's new and exciting in the egg machinery world. Thanks for watching.